Hello and welcome to this lesson on Azure Active Directory Conditional Access. Well, Conditional Access is the management of the sign-in process based on certain conditions. And the central entity for Conditional Access is the Conditional Access Policy. So when you search in the Azure portal for Azure AD Conditional Access, um, you are taken to the Conditional Access resource plate and from there you can add the policy. So now we want to see what a Conditional Access Policy looks like. A conditional access policy consists of three elements, the assignments, conditions, and access controls, all shown on the picture on the right. So first of all, for the assignments, we can select all or selected users or groups. We could also select between all or selected cloud apps or enterprise apps. For instance, we could have a conditional access policy that is only scoped to the Azure portal. Second, the conditions. So for conditions, we could select between user risk, which is in preview right now, um, which is also part of identity protection, the sign-in risk, also based on identity protection, the device platform, named locations, such as head offices, client apps, and device state, both in preview. For the access control, we must decide between a grant control and a session control. The session control, for instance, restricts access to a session and a certain duration. By default, this duration is 90 days. The grant control is further divided into a block control and a grant. Block, of course, blocks access, but for the grant type, we could choose to require MFA, for instance. In addition, and for troubleshooting and rolling out new conditional access policies, we can set the Azure policy enforcement to be report only. So let's consider the case um, that we want to enable MFA for only for Microsoft Office 365. So how do we do that? Well, we create a new conditional access policy and for the assignment, we, go, we specify a cloud app um, and only select a cloud app of Office 365. So that's it already. Let's consider another case that we want to em enable MFA only for the Azure portal. Again, here we would select the cloud app and um, this time we would look for Azure management. So this is the name that the Azure portal goes by when you select the cloud app. Again, very easy and um, you would select access control grant with a type of grant and require MFA. And last but not least, we could also enable MFA only for certain AAD roles, such as global administrators or so. How do we do that? Well, under assignments, we could choose select users and groups, and there we could select directory roles and select the role, for instance, global administrator. It's that easy, actually, so very comfortable um, and very powerful. So this way you can customize your conditional access to your business requirements. So that's it for this lesson on conditional access. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one. Bye bye.